Hello, how's it going? James Wedmore here with jameswedmore.com. I'm doing a quick short video for you on a three-step affiliate recruiting process. Uh, this is for anyone who has a product on ClickBank. You're selling your own product and it's on ClickBank. So if you don't have your own product, you're not on ClickBank, this video doesn't necessarily apply to you, but I really think that if you're doing any type of information marketing, internet marketing, uh, you need to have an information product, and if you're going to have an information product like an ebook, audio course, software, something like that, it should be on ClickBank. And I'm going to explain why basically in this video. But what I've got here for you in this short video is a three step, super duperly easy uh, affiliate recruiting process that I use, and it's foolproof. So, a few things I want to point out before we get started. Number one, uh, if you look at some of the big players on ClickBank, just go into any of the categories in the marketplace and you'll see that um, they've got high gravity, uh, which, you know, the number one products. Well, guess what? These big products that are probably pulling in over a million dollars a year in sales and net profits, over 90% of their sales are coming from affiliates. That is insane. 90% of their sales are coming from affiliates. So getting affiliates can be the difference in your business, can it? Um, and the other thing is, is most of these guys are paying out 75% commission to them. So that's in a little ad added tri trick. Uh, look at your competitors' products and see what commission they're giving to affiliates and make sure that you're at least the same level as them uh, because that'll be really enticing. Number two, a uh, little note for you. Uh, basically, this is what I'm already saying, but affiliates and super affiliates exist. They're out there. You might think, oh, no one's making money on the internet and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? There are people out there that do nothing but drive traffic. They're professionals. They're very good at, it, at just driving traffic to other people's offers. They've never built their own, written their own course product or anything like that. So they exist. They're out there and they're looking for other products to promote. They're good at what they do. And number three, it's really easy. People ask me why I use ClickBank. I say it's because it's the easiest to get affiliates. It's the easiest for an affiliate to just set up. I've used one shopping cart in the past. If you want to be an affiliate for that program, it can be a pain in the butt. ClickBank is so easy to promote people's products and to get other people to promote. So, um, you know, good stuff here and I could go on forever, but obviously you should know that number one, get a product on ClickBank and number two, get affiliates and focus on uh, affiliates doing doing a lot of the traffic driving work for you even if they're giving 75% you're giving 75% to them that's okay so without further ado let me give you my really simple three-step process that I came up with that I love it's awesome uh, what is it okay so our first step in the three-part process is number one find your number one competitor okay well I've kind of breezed through and done a lot of the work for you but where you want to start is the Clickbank marketplace okay uh, now I went ahead and did the research let's say I have uh, an abs product okay I want to sh teach people how to get into the best shape by by losing weight and getting six-pack abs well I've already done the the uh, research on here but let's see I think it's truth about abs is a good one and we'll just go in here and this is what you kind of want to do you want to just search for keywords of your market so whether you're in dog training search for dog training or whatever uh, and you want to look for things that have a high gravity and here we go truth about abs uh, truth about six pack abs excuse me 350 gravity almost okay so here is what I want to do I, number one is choose my competitor this is the best competitor based on gravity okay let's go ahead and take a look at what step number two is Step number two is to search Google Images. So, watch this. I go over to Google and I'm going to type in the truth about six pack abs. Now, remember, we're looking for affiliates. So, if I type this in here and go into Google, yeah, some of these people here, like the Squidoo guy and Lose Belly Fat 101, these are affiliates, and we're gonna we're gonna do okay with this. But the problem is, is we're not going to get the affiliates that have used obscure keywords like get rid of my lower ab fat and you know that is somehow could be highly converting so that's a problem right how do we fix that you know we're not going to just type in every keyword under the the sun and see what are the top 10 results are we that's going to take us a long time here's the answer okay so what we want to do is search google images so what we're going to do is we're going to type in the exact same keyword the truth about six pack apps and we're gonna go ahead and search now look at what we're gonna get 
every single one of these, here's the, the, the theory behind this, is that all of these images are the product image, the truth about six pack abs that people have put on their affiliate blog talking about the truth about six pack abs. So this is how I like to do it so I can kind of just sort through the clutter, not have to deal with whether or not someone is is actually trying to rank for six pack abs, the, the, the product keyword name. And every single one of these, all the way down, are affiliate blogs. Get-sixpackabs.net, exercise for the abdominals.net. These are all affiliate blogs uh, that people have set up trying to promote this product, and hopefully a lot of them successfully doing so. So that is step two. Let's go ahead and take a look at step three. Contact affiliate. This is the gimme step, right? So I can just take any one of these. It really doesn't matter uh where it is in here okay i don't want you to think that if it's all the way down at the bottom they're they're not a good affiliate because they might be like i said uh optimized for a totally random keyword that has nothing to do with truth about six pack abs the point is is that you can see immediately where this person is this is fitnessreport.org um and so they have a contact form right here and i can go ahead and contact them this way but guess what? Sometimes you're going to come up against a blog that doesn't have a contact form and they don't have an email address. They don't have anything like that. So what do you do? Well, the answer is simple. Um, I'm at a website domain place, networksolutions.com. But all you got to do is go into Google and type, is, type in who is domain info and you're going to get it's something like this where you search all the who is records. And so just to give you a quick example, I can do jameswedmore.com and I can search and it's going to give you the contact information of the owner of the domain. So yeah, you get a little backdoor access, but you can get their email address and you just send them an email. Okay. And basically, uh, what email would you want to send them? Uh, you're asking them politely to, to promote your product. Okay. And you know, they've already got a site up. They've already, they're already doing it. So they could do it rather easily where they just kind of test your product against another one and see which one converts higher. So I send out, I'll send out simp simple emails where I'm just saying, uh, about your site and I'll be specific, you know, about your site, fitnessreport.org say, Hey, I noticed that you, you, you know, an affiliate for such and such product. It's very similar to mine. We just launched it and I'd love for you to test drive it and see what you can do. Uh, give them numbers. Okay. Send them, uh, how it's converting, what the refund rate is, what the commission is, all of that stuff. And that's going to help the more content you can give them, the better. Now, here's the thing. Hopefully you're looking at this and seeing that this is something that can be done very, very quickly. These are really easy steps. Create the email template and it's simply a copy and paste, copy and paste. And if you're thinking the way I think, you can simply get a VA for $2 an hour out of the Philippines to do this all for you. And it's a great autopilot, automatic uh, little assignment for them. And you could just say, hey, find 10 people a day, find 20 people a day, and just email. And I do this, and it absolutely works. And then here's the magic. Here is the magic sauce. Um, if if you send these out, you're going to get some replies. You want to double your, resp your response rate? send a follow-up email. So keep a list of everyone you email and the website, their contact information. And then when a week goes by and they haven't replied yet, send them up a follow-up just with another copy and paste email. It says, hey, notice you haven't replied yet. Want to see what I can do to help out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I guarantee you start doing this and inside your ClickBank uh, account settings, you're going to see your affiliate numbers going through the roof. Remember, 90% of the big guys' products on ClickBank sales are made by affiliates. So you need to get affiliates on board because they're gonna bring in a big chunk of your income. And the best part is affiliates begets affiliates. The more affiliates you have, the higher your gravity gets, and the more affiliates will jump on board and the more your income will go up. So hopefully you enjoyed this, this little video. Uh, if you have any questions, submit them in the comment box below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.